I'm doing this for over two de decades already and um, the topics are interrelated. It's not totally separate things. So I'm lecturing innovation in um, long distance freight transport, which is in a way also what I do for Inform. And I'm relying or I have the pleasure to rely on a very capable team. So actually I'm more the tip of an iceberg. So the developments and advancements are done behind the scene and I'm kind of for you the face of it. Inform is very close related to the University of Aachen. We also are funding a chair there. So um, we try to push ahead in academia and also a lot of our young employees are coming from an academical background and we have a big research and development department and they have the freedom to think ahead. So once in a while we sit down and talk about possibilities arising and then we can see how they fit to whatever we need in industry or sometimes we have a specific problem in industry and can talk to them, do you have a fitting solution? So I think Academica is in a way a bit ahead, but on the other hand, um, it also has to be pushed by industry because as we all know, future is an unforeseeable thing. So also industry develops in a way Academica might not have seen. So it also, they push, push each other, I would say. But there has to be somebody, as I said before, to bridge this gap because otherwise they would kind of live independently and both sides wouldn't benefit enough. So I think this bridging is a unique thing Inform in general is doing. I think my role is it to prepare the company for the future and to take care of the next generation so that they have the freedom to bring in new ideas. I should not hinder them, I should foster their abilities. In general, Inform had a great deal of success, but we are also growing quite a bit. So we have to take care to keep up our spirit. Usually German companies are a bit formal and Inform is a kind of free company. Everybody has the freedom to really live up to the best abilities he or she can invest. And we try to foster it, to take care of that and to stay like that. That might be difficult when we are, let's say, past a thousand employees. But I think it's very essential to get the results we achieved in the, in the past and we want to achieve in the future. So to try to stay an exceptional company for the customers and for the employees as well.